again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony at Firewalls.com, and today we're going to be discussing firewall policies. You can see here we've already gone to Firewall and Firewall Policies, and I've got several created, but we're going to go ahead and add a new policy here. You can see we've got three different options. We've got your packet filters, which are some of our commonly known ports and protocols. You've got proxies. We'll discuss the difference between a proxy and a packet filter here momentarily. And if neither of those meet your needs, you have the custom option to create your own policy type. Today we're going to go ahead and create a proxy, specifically an HTTP proxy. The main difference between a proxy and a packet filter is going to be that a proxy is able to inspect the contents of a packet, not just the header, as well as being aware of the application layer of the OSI model. Here you can see we have our source network, in this case any trusted, which is our LAN network, our destination network, any external, which is going to be the World Wide Web. We've got intrusion prevention enabled by default. I like to turn on logging for future troubleshooting. Then up here we can set our application control and we'll discuss creating an application control policy in a future video. Here we've got our proxy actions. This entire tab would not be available had we selected a packet filter rather than a proxy. In order to make any changes here, we're going to need to go ahead and clone our current policy. I'm not going to get into all the options today, but you can see here we have our web blocker, which is going to be content filtering. We have reputation enabled defense. And you can also get into more granular detail with request methods as far as disabling certain methods, setting alarms or logs. You've got ABT blocker and other and gateway antivirus, among other things. Here we can set a schedule. You've got some predefined. For instance, this is a Monday to Friday 7 to 7 schedule. Policy will only be enabled during the times marked in green. You can set your interval anywhere between 15 minutes and an hour. Finally, we've got our advanced tab. We're not going to need to adjust any of these settings today, so we'll go ahead and save. And there you have it. You've now created an HTTP proxy that enables traffic on port 80, and you're able to set some custom restrictions due to the fact that it's a proxy and not a packet filter. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like, feel free to leave a comment below, and as always, firewalls.com reminds you, get secure, stay secure. Thank you.